Do you know the true end to your customer's experience? Hi, Shep Hyken, your customer service and experience expert, and today I'm going to discuss the new end to the customer experience. I had the wonderful opportunity to interview Sam Stern, one of the principal analysts at Forrester and their customer experience research practice. And this was for my amazing business radio show. One of the ideas we discussed was Daniel Kahneman's peak end rule. The short version of this concept applied to customer interactions and that the customers judge their experience on how they felt at its peak and at its end. The topic came up as Sam and I were discussing surveys, specifically when surveys are sent and how they could potentially negatively impact the customer experience. Just when the customer thinks the experience is over, it's not. They receive a survey. That becomes the new end. In a typical transaction with your business, think about the last interaction your customer experiences with you. This can be for any type of business. For example, the restaurant owner might thank the guests as they walk out the door. An automotive repair center may bring the customer's car to the front of the store for the customer to expect before they drive away. An online retailer customer's end may be when the customer opens the box with their merchandise. These final moments appear to be the end end of the customer's experiences, but sometimes there's more to it than that. Sometimes the car dealership will send a survey to a customer, or the online retailer will ask for a review of a product. Those become the new end to those customer interactions, and sometimes that new end can taint the experience. Now, I love a hotel I've stayed at several times. The hotel is clean, the rooms are nice, the restaurants are great, and the staff is always friendly and helpful. I couldn't ask for anything more. Well, two days after my first day, I received a survey, and I was happy to fill it out. What I thought would be a short survey, however, took a little over 10 minutes. Still, I wanted to give some credit to the staff, so I took the time to complete the survey. Now, after my next visit, I received the same survey. This time, I did not complete it, nor did I complete it after the third and the fourth visit. The point of that short story is to emphasize that when I walked out of the doors of that hotel, that was not the end. The new end appeared 48 hours later, and it wasn't a positive end. What if that survey had been only three short questions? How would have I felt about it? Probably a little bit better. Or, with the ability of computers today, why doesn't their system recognize me as a repeat guest and send me a shorter survey, as in that two or three questions, to ensure I felt the same way as I did after that first visit? Think about what the last thing your customer experiences in a typical interaction with you and your organization. Is it a long, multi-page survey that causes survey fatigue, if not even anxiety? Or is it a thank you note expressing appreciation that will remind your customer about their positive experience that they had with you? Whatever it is, that new end becomes what I refer to as the true end. It's your customer's final experience of that interaction that also sets the tone for future business. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. Com. There you find more information about my speaking programs as well as hundreds of customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.